Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering videos. Alright, so today our topic is about the lipping and beam and columns. Right? What is lipping actually? The column or beam in the structural member, uh, for example, I'm giving you example to explain the lipping length. Is the, uh, is the length of the steel bar uh, manufactured in company? manufactured by companies is this is a steel bar for example and it may be grade 60 or grade 40 but it's the tool but its length of the bar should not be 12 meter according to the ACI American Concrete Institute they don't allow the steel bar to be more than 12 meter right so companies don't manufacturing companies don't allow to make the steel bar more than 12 meter so in practice, uh, in practical field, when we are on the site and we construct the beam, so uh, if there's a beam, for example, it's going on, and there's a column provided, there's a column provided, and there's again the beam. So what if, if, the, if there's the length between the two columns is more than 12 meters, for example, is a 20 meter. So the length of the bar is 12 meter. So what should we do? So we place another bar with it, and we lay the bar. This is what we call laping, right? This is what we call lapping because the length of this bar is not sufficient to provide throughout the beam. So we place another bar and we continue this uh, the reinforcement throughout the beam and we uh, this lapping of the bar is actually important and we call it lapping. Right? So I will explain it uh, in, a, in a detail way now. I'm considering here the column, right? Uh, for example, I'm considering the multi-story building and we have different beams and column like this. Uh, different stories, right? The stories. Um, and these are the columns, right? And these are the columns. So if I'm going to uh, provide the uh, reinforcement, so what should I do? I place the reinforcement here bar and then I have, uh, this, uh, for example, there's a 15 meter high and the distance between this is also 15 meter and this is also 15 meter and this is also 15 meter so I'm going to place the bar so there's a 12 meter bar is we don't, uh, we don't have any bar more than 12 meter so there's a 12 meter bar and then we place again the 12 meter bar and then we will again place the 12 meter bar, 12 meter bar, 12 meter bar and continue throughout the structure similar is the case in the beam for example this is a beam and this is a beam, beam, beam Sorry, these are the beams moving in the structure and these are the columns, right? So this is a beam, so the reinforcement in the beam is like this one. We place this reinforcement and this is a reinforcement, this is a reinforcement. So what we do, we place also the another reinforcement here to continue and to transfer the load. So this again we do the overlapping here in the column, we also do the overlapping. So this um, we define is the lapping and beam or lapping in columns, right? So uh, ACI, American Concrete Institute, uh, some provide the core codes, right? ACI, we can say ACI, 13, 14, have provided some codes, uh, codes which are is like that if we have compression member like column, column are the compression members, pillar are the compression members, pier are the compression members. So what we gonna do? We provide the lapping length as uh, we provide the lapping length is 48 into dia, into diameter, right? Where D is the diameter, diameter of smaller bar, right? In case of the compression member, it's for the is for the compression member compression member right while in case of the tension member like for example the beam the slave these are the tension member fracture members so we will provide the 60d according to the ACI code where a D is the dia of smaller bar right and this formula is for the tension members and in actual practice we provide and according to these two formulas right and what about the you know, for example D I'm going to explain the D uh, there's a column and we provide the one bar here and we just then overlap this bar 
Uh, so what we are going to do uh, this is a compression member column because the load will be like coming like that on the column so 48 d for the compression member so 48 d will be like this distance will be now 48 d how 48 into diameter where this is the diameter of the small bar so this this is the one bar this is the two bar we will leave these two bars so the d will be the smaller of uh, these two bar either this one either this one right either either this one bar or either this one bar which one is the smaller we multiply this bar with the 48 so we get the distance for example I'm considering here right I'm giving an example that there's a B column and there's a overlapping length is uh, there's a one bar one's another bar and it's uh, for example it's uh, number four bar right it means 0.5 inches diameter and this one is also uh, and this one is number 8 bar we can say on number 6 bar we can say number 6 number 8, eight is too uh, uh, large in diameter so number 6 bar so what should be this this in your lipping this is if this is a compression member column members so we will provide this formula to calculate the lipping length 48 into D so 48 into D where D is the diameter of the smaller bar so we will provide this bar into 0.5 so what we get 48 into 5 uh, 0.5 24 inches it means this overlapping distance length of the uh, bar in the column should not be less than the 24 inches this is the least distance uh, 24 should be provided in the compression member similar example here uh, is the beam that in the beam we should we should provide the 60d where d is the diameter of the smaller bar we multiply with the 60 so we will get the uh, leaping length distance and it should be provided this is, this is the minimum uh, length of the uh, leaping length and beam as well as in column so this was all about the leaping and beam as well as in the column so if you have any question uh, you can comment okay and uh, you can comment and please subscribe our channel Please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos and thank you for watching our video.